We heard a lot of things about Zach Levine and the Chicago Bulls being open to a trade yesterday. It was wild. But me and C-Dub are here to tell y'all what are the best possible trades for the Chicago Bulls and Zach Levine. Y'all know we're going to talk about it plus a little bit more. But you know, you got to hear the music. Tone, yeah. Shy Boys Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm with my dog, C-Dub. How you doing, boy? What's to AK and them, bro? What's to <laughs> them? <laughs> Man, if y'all like what y'all listening to today, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and shake the notification bell. So every time we drop, we be one of the, you be one of the first ones to know. We told y'all to hit the notification bell because otherwise, if you missed the Zach Levine video, when it broke news, I gave y'all the sauce, and some of y'all probably missed it or you was a little bit late to the party. But oh, if you would have hit that notification bell, you would have been right on cue with the cognac gang. But anyway, nonetheless, we still love y'all, but you got to get on your stuff. But nonetheless, C-Dub, we heard from Shams, and then other guys start joining the party that the Chicago Bulls and Zach Levine are open to a, a trade. Then Shams came out maybe about an hour after soda breaking news. Pretty much said that the teams that are going to be interested are the 76ers, the Miami Heat, and the Los Angeles Lakers. Can we both agree that we don't want shit from the 76ers right off back. Yeah, I'm straight. All right. Fell. Because they ain't giving up Maxi. So we don't need to talk. Don't want Tobias Harris. Y'all know how I feel about that gentleman over mm -hmm. there. But I'm good. So I want to let's go ahead and how you feeling up. First of all, you, you didn't really give your thoughts on the whole thing. Let's start off there. Um, this is surprising uh for me. Cause I thought uh definitely. I just think it's the wrong guy. I just think it's DeMar DeRozan. He, I think he having an even a worse season than Zach Levine, but it is what it is. Um, Zach just hasn't been playing right uh, this year. And we said in the beginning of the year, just like the last dance, this is like uh, either get it going or we're going to break this shit up or something got to happen. And Zach has been absolutely awful. He had one game of 51 points and they lost. Uh, he had defensive lapses in, in, in key situations and key times in games. Uh, he's not been aggressive like last game. He went in a span of being on the floor eight minutes without taking a shot. Mm. Um, I guess it is what it is. Uh, so it is what it I'm is. sad. I, I still think he's good. I think he's going to go to a new team if this trade happens you can say it's gonna happen all you want right. you still got a long way to go and he can still play his way to staying in chicago but it is what it is you know i rap with this before anybody else oh, facts so on to the to the 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 lakers and the miami heat trade uh the best possible trade for me from the miami heat i want tyler hero i want jovich and i want jaime Oh, bro. <laughs> you a beast. You took my answers, gang. You took my answers. That's who you, you think that's the best package just, from, from the Miami Heat? Yeah. You got to get Hero. You got to get Jaime. I wouldn't even add in, adding Jovich, but I add Jovich in as well. But if you probably you don't, don't even need to add to him. You add him. Y'all, you yeah, right. Yeah. So just give me Jaime. And, and and a little hero, and that's good enough. If you gon' if you have to send them off, and you want to trade with the Heat, them the two players you better get. I don't want to see nobody. I want to see Josh Richardson. Oh, uh, they ain't giving up Bam. I don't want Jimmy over here. I don't care how much y'all love him. I don't want Jimmy. And, and if you think Jimmy and Zach go, he ain't going nowhere anyway. <laughs> wait, wait, bro. If you think Zach and Jimmy is going to be a good matchup, how long do you think it's going to take for Jimmy to go crazy on Zach? How long do you think it's going to take for Jimmy Three to games? snap on Zach a couple <laughs> of games? So, bro, I'm, I'm with you. Hero and Jaime. I like the way Jaime been playing early. Hero, Jaime, and maybe a pick. 
I think that's I think, well, that's that's even better right there. Because I seen some horrible. They trying to throw us Kyle Larry. Don't nobody want his ass. Get that shit out. Of and if AK even think about doing that, he's an idiot. And I'll be re- joining the picket line of fire AK. Because what oh. are we doing? We're not trying to build the Toronto Raptors over here. Because it's being reported that they want to keep the Marta Rosen for some reason. What Lord, are we doing? That's, that's asinine. <laughs> that's asinine. What are we doing? So, no, I'm good on that. All right, cool. So, y'all let us know who y'all think the best available package when it comes down to the Miami Heat. Now we move on. The Lakers. I'll let yeah. you go first. Who has to be included in the package? First, I'm going to just say ill. <laughs> but then, <laughs> and when you look over this roster, they really don't have anything. You're going to really have to roll a dice. Um, You're going to have to. It's going to Rui. Has to be involved in some some component in this in this trade with the Bulls. Uh, who do you want? You want you want D'Lo? Do you want do you want Cam Reddish? Mm-mm. So it's gonna be Rui and a bunch of picks, but you gotta make the money stick. Mm-mm. You gotta Mm-mm. make the money stick. So you gotta take one of them trash ass players over there. Uh uh-uh. uh, I got a better option for you. Because they, ahead. first of all, it's going to have to be player heavy because they ain't got no pick that's going to be good enough for me and my life. The yeah. only pick that's going to be able to come from them, I believe it starts in 2029. That is six years from now. We going to be older. You, both of us going to have gray <laughs> hair. And it's going to be raps. So oh, bro. The, conv- the the players that it starts with, Austin Reeves, Rui oh. Hachimura, and then you got to give me somebody else. Preferably... I want Vando. Vando? Garrett Vanderbilt. Is that enough, though, nephew? Is that still enough? It's probably not. It ain't enough for me. In in, in some cases, we do got to understand that a lot of these these trades are typically one-sided. Yeah. We can't can't give them away, nephew. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You just can't give them away. You know what I'm saying? So... I think that with a team doesn't have a lot of picks, you got to give me players, bro. How about this, nephew? Rui, Vando, Cam Reddish, and a couple picks. Some of they trash ass picks. No Austin Reeves? They not giving up Austin Reeves, nephew. They not going <laughs> to do it. You know this. They not giving away, dude, bro. I be definitely trying. <laughs> he give it away, dude, though. Oh, I think he untouchable to tell you the truth. Yeah, because don't Rui play the four. So you'll have your legit four. You can move P. Will into the three, but you got to yes. get rid of DeMar DeRozan. You got to trade him as well. That's a, another thing I want to say, nephew. If you trade Zach Levine, you might as well trade DeMar DeRozan. Okay. It don't make no sense to keep him. Put That's a perfect opportunity to put Patrick Williams at the three, his natural position, to see where he at. And then it's sink or swim for the rest of the year. If he can't get up to it, get into his natural position, you see what you can do with Pat. Facts. I think that's pretty good. It's, it's, it's definitely going to come down to a lot of tricky things, though. You know what I'm saying? Because we can come out here and say, hey, we want this guy, this guy, this guy. And it might be a totally different trade, bro. Yeah, <laughs> It might be a totally like, different you, trade. This might come from a crazy team. We might this not might even be one of the, the teams right here. The three teams. Facts. Because nobody even expected Damian Lillard to be a Milwaukee Buck. It was all Miami Heat. Miami Heat. Yeah, that's yeah, that shit came. And you from even heard field. a little bit about the Sixers. You never we ain't hear too much of nothing from the Bucks. Let's just play around with the Sixers. What are they? Y'all gonna try to give us Tobias Harris and and Robert Covington yeah. and Nicholas yeah. Batum? No, nah, uh, hell no, Joe. We ain't going D-Klang. back to two thousand and six. We ain't going back to two thousand and six. Get that shit out of here. I mean, they're not bad role players though, but I don't. I, just, uh, they, I think they, the value just, you got to get younger if you do like and talented and talented. Yeah, exactly. So you know what I'm saying. These guys are pretty much spot they up said. guys. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like three and D type of players. Yep. They or, all three you know, and D specialist players. type of player with Nicholas Batum, three point shooter type guy. So yeah. Decline. Decline. Bro. Y'all <laughs> but, talking about uh, Max? Yeah, y'all want hey Sixers. Y'all will give us Maxi? Never. Right, shut, <laughs> <up>. <laughs> shut the hell up. Never. We'll give y'all Zach for Maxi on oh, bro. Never, boy. Wait, wait, wait. Here go. Here go. 
We'll give you Zach and, and a Kobe White for Maxi. That is. Damn. Sheesh. What? You it going, nephew. Though. Nephew, you going. Don't say sheesh. It you going. Happening, though. You go. I, and I know it ain't happening, nephew, but that's what we giving up. <laughs> that's what you got to give us to get Zach, bro. That's what you got. Bro. <laughs> Funny. But so that was the teams, you know, that was reported. Yeah. And we did talk about, you know, sometimes it's a team that nobody really thinks about. Yeah. Who was a team that you thought about it and be like, hey, if it is what it is, I see what it do. If we can make it do what it do, if you catch my drift. Oh, bro, look, check me out, nephew. I know I ain't no genius, bro, bro. Sometimes y'all got to listen to me, bro. It's the perfect storm. It's the perfect opportunity. I'm going to read you a quote. He's taking a back seat, trying my best to buy in to the strategy, buy into the system. You know who said that? What? Wait a minute, nephew. Does that sound like frustration to you before I tell you who it is? Probably, yeah. That's a lot of frustration. You know who that is? Zion Williamson. I know Zion has been missing a lot of games. He's been injured the last, what, ever since he's been in the league. But when he plays, he's close to a top 15 player. If he's at his best, he's a top 10 player. You can, you can argue. Zion Williamson is on a max contract just like Zach Levine. Even swap. Give us Zion. Y'all take Zach. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it, even though it's a rookie extension, so the money, but they all max. You might have to, you know, figure that out, but that ain't that type of episode. We ain't figuring it out. Only one man a no. dream. <laughs> 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 we'll figure it out on another episode, oh, but for bro. this one, I'm not mad at that. I look at another trade. I know that it, it probably ain't, you know, but what about DeJounte Murray? You know what I'm Ooh. saying? What if you can, what if you can go ahead and you can Get Debo out of here. Let's say you get some picks or a role player for that. But you can recoup DeJounte Murray for Zach Levine. Then you got DeJounte Murray as your one. Kobe White, he's a ball handler or a combo guard, as a lot of us like to say. You move him at the two. Patrick Williams could slide in at the three. Ooh. You can let Julian Phillips play your small ball four. Ooh. And then you keep a veteran like Nikola Vucevic around. I like that lineup, nephew. I ain't going to lie to you. I mean, it's young, athletic, and they can shoot. And then your bench still looks pretty good. You Solid. keep Alice Caruso in the building. You keep Javon Carter in the building. Tori Craig and Ayo Dosumu. Ooh. How do you want it? Oh, I like How that, do you feel? Hey, I, I like that lineup. Mm -hmm. Look, look, we ain't compete for no championship. Mm -hmm. This a this a lineup to grow. That that lineup right there is solid, nephew. That's yeah. solid. And I think I think when you look at the players all around, you still keep that the, the but, offense. In my opinion, they running. First they of running. all, they gonna be running. It ain't nobody that's gonna be in the starter lineup or in the or on the bench that wants to slow the tempo down like a Demar Derozan. Uh -huh. And then you got a lot of athleticism. I know it's going to be some pushback with trying to let Julian Phillips play the four, and that's perfectly fine. It's not like you can't pair P. Will up next to Torby Craig. You know what I'm saying? You can do a lot of things, but that's just on the surface level. It's, it's a lot deeper, I know, but that's just Ooh. on the surface. Hey, bro. I love that lineup, bro. You got DeJounte Murray out there controlling the offense. You know he can score with the best of them. He can play make. You got Kobe White is an absolute. He got better playmaking, and he can shoot that ball. You know he a scorer. You got Patrick Williams going to his natural position. You got Julian Phillips. We can start the development. We can really start developing young talent with uh, Julian Phillips. And then you got Vooch. Just an old wily veteran, just gonna do it. We gonna play inside out. We gonna he be gonna bombing eat. threes. Oh, I love that lineup. We ain't winning no championship. Let's we know it. that. <laughs> we know that, oh, bro. And I think with that lineup, nephew, we go play in. Oh, um, bro. <laughs> with that lineup, hey, if they the make the play in with that with. lineup, that's yeah. gonna say something about Zach and Demar. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It is, bro. But I think we could play in this in this 
locked in today's NBA. With that lineup, it's all facets that you need. We got defense, shooting, running, everything. Except for Vooch, you know, defense. But he a solid offensive player. He bro. been Andy consistent, track. bro. No matter how much smoke I gave him, he been because he been more consistent than Zach and DeMar. He got to keep it a buck. Got to keep it a buck. He been more yeah. consistent than Zach and DeMar. Would you have thought that that Vooch should be the last one standing? Like two years <laughs> bro, ago. The man like three standing. years ago. <laughs> no. <laughs> We got Lonzo probably going to be gone. I mean, if you make these moves, you just forget about Lonzo. Lonzo, then Zach, then DeMar. They all gone. Vooch is the last one standing. That's crazy. And Caruso. And Caruso. You can't never let Caruso. You got to get break the bank to get Caruso from us. <laughs> oh, bro, I don't you see that happening. The, you got to break the, break the bank. Oh, gang. bro. But that's it's just the, what it is. I think that's – hey, but – I. One more, one more, one more. Uh oh. With not from me, just from speculation. You know where's you know where I'm about to go with this, bro. Where you going? The team that always uh, uh connected to Zach Levine, the New York Knicks. Ugh. You know, you, you would you Say do it, nephew, would you ahead. do RJ Barrett, Quentin Grimes, and some picks. I just Quentin Grimes ain't played particularly well this. This season, That's he's the okay. Athletic right big, now. you've been looking for though. <laughs> I just don't want to, bro. That sounds like this, nephew. Like Washington, would you want Jordan Poole and Kuzma? Kyle Kuzma. Uh -huh. Yes. No. Jordan Poole. Can't. Yeah, that stock went out the window. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to pay attention. To fucking huddle. <laughs> you gotta have some maturity to be the man. That's just oh, what it bro. is. That boy think he on the playground for sure. It's Oof. he the funniest man on the NBA. So it's nothing you drawing up from from the Knicks. It's an automatic no, I decline. I, 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 decline, nephew. I can't do it that one. What if you they give you man? You a quick? What? <laughs> Y'all rather keep Kobe, gang? What the fuck? I ain't saying you got to give up Kobe. What if they give you RJ Barrett, man? You quickly and quick and Quentin Grimes? Nah, oh, nephew. I, I, I can't. Do that. <laughs> nah, so let's look over there at Portland though. Shane Sharp over there. Um, who else they got over there? They got um Anthony Simons. Anthony Simons and Shane Sharp. For Zach I don't see, there. I don't see that happening though. Why you don't Zach see that? gonna be in purgatory? <laughs> in purgatory, <laughs> ship his ass off. <laughs> he gonna be at the bottom of the barrel. Uh you know this probably ain't nothing's gonna happen. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen like in a month or uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna take. That's not, not gonna be sure. tomorrow or nothing. It's like gonna that. take time. So what is this gonna be interesting watching them play tomorrow, or no, to no. later on today? That's gonna be interesting to watch. Facts. What the fuck? Did you actually okay the Chicago Bulls to look for a trade for you? I want to see his body language. I want to see his play on the floor. Is he gonna help his trade value by playing well? Because I don't see like a hundred percent effort from Zach Levine every minute on the court. Do you? No. I mean, but have we ever? <laughs> no. We have at at times from game to game. Yes. But this season, I haven't seen it once. I seen that offensively on that fifty-one point game, but that's it. Yeah. Um, bro. But hey, you got anything left? Time to rule out. AK, don't be a goofy. Don't be a goofy, AK. Get the best deal or just leave it. Let him stay here. Don't be a goofy and bring in. Yeah, you don't have to rush him. He's still on the contract for, for years to come. Yeah, so. bro. Don't, don't rush, rush it. Bro, don't. Just be careful, gang. Facts. But that's it from us today, man. Make sure you tune in. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so every time we drop you'll be one of the first ones to know we want to hear some of y'all sound off on this make sure you call in so we can respond to your call in 773-242-9219 it's another episode of shy boys podcast i'm bobby that's c-dub we're gonna catch y'all on the next one for sure come on yeah, come on, yeah. gang, gang.